Those seem pretty bright. Oh, whoops. Ah, maybe I can close my door like this. Driving exceptional distance. Woo! Close. What does the game consider exceptional distance, though? Like a thousand miles? A hundred miles. Really? I feel like I've driven more than that. I don't know. Because, like, in real life, if you drive on a highway for, like, three hours at Texas speeds, uh, you, you'll, you'll, uh... You could travel like 300 miles in three hours. Give or take, maybe an hour. I'm not saying drive 100 miles per hour, but sometimes you drive at like 70 or 80, yeah? stuff below me that I can't access. That's not true. I want to be able to access it. But! High ground highways. place is safe. From Sasquatch? Uh, sure, hope we don't run into him. Oops, no, give me that. I think I forgot to craft something before I left. But I don't remember what. I'm pretty sure I made a second plasma scrapper and it's in the back of my car. We have a pry bar. Don't have an impact hammer back up. That one, we'll see what ends up happening. Let's keep it moving. What's ahead of me? Okay, going to the game, it is a cabin. Not locked off, I can grab it. Greetings, Cabin. Do you have a TV for me to smash? Why, you do? <laughs> Perfect. Any extra loot up top? Not this time. I'm becoming more aware. You can't fool me. Oh, right, 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 right. Gotta get you used to again. It was really nice. I do wish that the auto parker was just an upgrade that you could just build into your car. I feel like there's a lot of things you should be able to put into your car permanently as, like, an endgame thing. Like, I'm fine that not, I, I can't get it. Permanently 
currently in like what I would say is mid game, but ever that's sad. <laughs> it's like, oh, but if you you could get it permanently if you just keep it in your back seat, uh. But the highest level engine drains so much gas. I need these fuel reservoirs. Uh, I don't even know what energies are out here. This area would be stable. Okay, then I don't really care too much about that. We'll go for the recording, though. Involved. Hoppy, I gotta ask. Were you around when the old wall was nearly breached? You want to know if I was involved? I mean, sure. No one knew more about where anomalies came from than you. Heck, I mean, you know, the only reason anyone knew anything about anomalies was because of the research branch that you four started to build. Yes, and we developed ways to prevent anomalies, not create them. Well, you can't prevent something if you don't know where it's created in the first place. So you did pick up a thing or two around us scientists. <laughs> go on. I wish you could have these, like, keep going into the next file. All I know is I didn't give two craps about anomaly prevention. You fought uphill the entire way. Never thought I'd see the day where you'd sugarcoat anything coming out of your mouth. The Harmonic Disruption Research Lab was an abject failure. No, I wasn't involved, but I stood by and let it happen. By that point, the Limb Project was in a bad way. Either it found a breakthrough and justified the government resources it was sucking up, or the entire project was put down. Everything depended on this technological quantum leap that evaded us for decades. In response, all good sense went straight out the window. For every wonder pulled out of thin air, limb technology conjured increasingly greater horrors. But it was done in the name of progress, and we were powerless to stop it. The Harmonic Disruption Research Branch was all I could do to soften the atrocities Arda unleashed in the name of progress. I tried to clean up my mess, but I failed. Well, let's see. So if I suck these out, I get glass shards and a bowl. And then if I just break it, I imagine I just get flash shards. Yeah, okay. And then obviously like the other stuff. Pressurized, cartridge, copper wire. I don't know if I get the pressurized cartridge. With uh, using the vacuum. That's gonna hurt. Man. Fuck off! Go away! Ow! Ugh, I fucked up. I need my flares. There we go. <laughs> I equipped the flares and I kept on trying to ignite them. They weren't fucking working. Probably good on red platelets. Ooh. Probably good lead platelets, but I'm gonna keep grabbing them. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make any. There hasn't been any. There, there are like, oh, corrosion resistance, electricity resistance, or radiation resistance armors. But 
it's such a pain in the ass to like deck your car out for something super specific like that. Like there's no, I would, why would I bother? I'm better off with like a general high health, high impact resistance armor. And then I do my best to just avoid those troubles in the first place. And then I can use those like electronics or the lead platelets for something more useful, such as outright radiation resistance. I can get radiation resistance, static resistance. And then I can just throw myself into a whole bunch of situations. Anything else in here? Holy God. Damn. The light and the fog is crazy. What's out in this region? We got a gas car. Hundred meters down our way, and some fuel barrels that do the same. I think we should be fine, though. Alright. Add a good hunch from the, con the car's condition that it would give me good fuel. Back doors open. I love how we still haven't like re reproduced the the gunk. <laughs> Seems like a real useful substance. Actually near that energy source. I'm. I'll grab it since I inadvertently ended up here. Too. Holy 
Holy fuck, this is my first time seeing one of these. And they got a fuel pump too? Holy hell! This thing has everything! But this place has all the all the resources I need to get out there. Shame I'm so well maintained at this point. Alright. Hell yeah. some force to it. What do we got on this transmitter? Bulb equals electronics. I feel like those are a little too closely already connected. No, my stuff! <laughs> oh my god! Well, that's, that's gone. There's nothing I can do about that. Wait, where's my flare gun? I think I dropped it, but just never picked it back up. Oh wait, there it is. I mean, I don't really need it. It was just nice to have my inventory slots filled up. recording. Frequency file number two, part four. I don't know if I ever listened to part three. No, we did, okay. Sadly, that's about where the cold hard facts end. Listeners, I tried. I really did. I started my investigation in the usual fashion digging up every piece of public record I could get. The paperwork is maddeningly typical up until 1955. Census records, soil samples, weather reports, hand-drawn survey maps, the beginnings of satellite photos, all readily available for anyone with the patience to walk themselves into a county office. Those materials don't tell me much, and I quickly am forced to turn to more dubious sources. Before the downing of multiple passenger planes and the subsequent establishment of no-fly zone in 1962, crude aerial photos are taken and circulated. This is where things get interesting. I find <laughs> fuzzy shots of what appears to be entire mountains relocating overnight, buildings disappearing and reappearing at random, and lakes filled with water or light, depending on the time of day. The resolution is dubious, making them ink blood tests in their own right. They are the stuff of dreams among amateur investigators and conspiracy theorists alike. The most outlandish, improbable, and extremely unverifiable stories came from breachers. People rumored to have jumped, tunneled, hot air ballooned their way through the walls. If you're to be believed, there is much to be uncovered. But more on that later. Limb technology is not paraded around in the press for long. As the government withdraws acknowledgement that it ever existed, the public's interest similarly begins to wane. The last verifiable activity is an exodus of ARTA employees from the zone, beginning in 1981 and followed swiftly by a full decommissioning of the zone in 1987. After which, those 3,600 square miles are sealed away left behind with no explanation. A tomb, 
minutes away from the populous, perfectly normal city of Seattle. With decades of history and secrets locked inside. And that is where I'm left to fill in the enormous, ill-defined gaps. We've got two of these in one area. Holy hell. Oh my god, it put me on top. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for these from now on. Like, on the list of things in an area. Because, like, gas stations are good. But this is better. Let's look at the route map real quick. So I'm here. Does it mention this? Oh, uh, you know what? It's not recognized. I'm, I'm, okay, this is the time. Full service stop. Hell yeah. Okay. So now when we look on the map, it says full service stop. So I can know what troubles may lie ahead of me. Like, for example, there's a gas station and... Oh, actually, there's a full service stop in the next area, too. Okay. Fuck yeah. I was going to give an example, like, well, if there's no gas station or repair station in the next place, I need to be a little bit more careful. You know, we got both. I don't got... I don't got any shit. More decal stuff. Oh shit, there's vectors here. <laughs> I hadn't seen them for a while. I see potential electronics. The downside of sucking up the lights with the vacuum is that they give you bulbs too. And I, I kind of need the bulbs, but they're also massive, like, space wasters. For something I'm not desperate for. Hi, Kyr. Full service stations have always been around, I just never ran into them. Because <laughs> there's some places I could have used them. Like, I doubt it repairs your car to full, but every little bit helps. Alright, we've got a little bit of unstable energy here. So we'll go hunt for that, even though it seems like we don't have a lot of time before the storm kicks in. That's fine. After planning your drive on the route planner, you can still change course. Gateways can be opened at any stable location along the way. Yeah, but the gateways take us home, so... Mm, no second chances. Is that mean for me? Sometimes that which you trust the most might turn against you. While sometimes it's possible to find and retrieve things lost after a near-death emergency return, you won't be able to do so here. Oh. Yeah, I guess I have never found out what happens when you die. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the UI popping up in the middle of the world confused me. I thought it was, I was getting two marks. Oh, it's just the representation of the first mark. 
All right, what do we got around here? We got some more coral around. Ramp truck. I'm good. I probably don't have a lot of time to spend. Especially after I grab one of these. Question mark on the dashboard. supposed to be a full service station somewhere or at least a gas station here we go okay so that <laughs> nice a little gas station or a full service station is right next to where I need to go anyways Acceptable. Is that fucking icon over there? The radiation zone? Is that just warning me about the hot dust? Or is there something I can get from that? I gotta check that out. Oh, that radio. Okay, so that's just indicating one of these lead plate zones. I didn't park my car! Okay, we're fine. I thought it was falling backwards, it actually was driving forwards. Okay, anything else? Big thing is just electronics. We need so much of it. Okay. Train. Well, the tra train's not an anomaly, so that's good at least. I wonder when we see one of those remnant ghosts. Might be deeper in the deep zone. Things have been relatively 
peaceful out here. Maybe I'm just underestimating the region a little bit. Bestow upon me the gifts a swamp coral. What's that glowing orange light over here? I don't know, it's not fucking... It's being weird about swapping through my inventory. Okay. I guess it's just the light of the building. Okay. sheet into gas cylinder. It's kind of okay, because I don't have a hell of a lot of gas cylinders. What the? Yeah, okay, just a firefly. We got one of them glowing swamp bugs here. Driving this way, I should run into a road or dirt path. There we go. Now we can get speed. Well, there's not a hell of a lot of resources on this side. What the hell? I guess that's like a hollowed out wreck? Or something? You know, the route map actually has this kind of knowledge. Um... Wrecked car, abandoned car, abandoned squire. Gotcha. So that's a squire. Which I can obviously use as a resource for armored panels. Or higher quality parts. Nice! Hell yeah, okay. Thank you, Amo Squire. Your sacrifice has been recognized. Hello and 
little welcome to the Forgotten Path Zone podcast coming to you over your radio. Uh, we are live here, and I'm joined by my friend Justin and my friend Bobby Kelly. Noah, I'm your time, as always, as we dive into the spookiness that is this wonderful uh, rolling and role-playing game. How are y'all doing? You always do that like people are listening. Nobody's listening. I like If it helps you move it along, sure. <laughs> I don't think I've got any pizza to make, but I can give you a bunch of eggs. I don't know how tasty they are. There's a storm encroaching. There it is. <laughs> I'm running there. No alarms have gone off, but I fucking see the circle. I'm not fooled. Last energy of the region. Okay, then according to the map, straight ahead of us is a repair station. Hell yeah! Lights are fucking real low here, jeez. No, come on. Good enough! Alright. Hey! Oh my god, I dropped a plasma charger too? Or fucking, there's a tourist or something. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now I'm really ready to get the hell out of here. They're just gonna be on the road I'm leaving on anyways. I kinda wanna smack the giant orb. Okay, I just I had to make sure. There's a scrambler next to that recharge station. <laughs> My car was all wigging out. I feel like it has a smidge of damage, but I'm not sure. Ah, pneumatic tube. I think I might almost have all the the lab reports. Good morning. I hope you all had a lovely sleep. Or 
Just 12 so radiation, that's that okay. Or at the very least, wearing your eye shield during that time. When this day is right around peak time, and only up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, you've got some cloud going in, and it'll stay that way until bedtime, with radiation bubbles settling back under two microsieverts. The fog will be back first thing tomorrow, so get in your full day of blue skies and golden sunshine. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, bright and early, with your weather as always. Lovely, lovely. I don't think that's that, that... It's like midnight. It ain't early in the morning. Let's see. Ooh, there's a beating heart in the area. Some kind of magnet thing, which might be the limb magnets that I'm, I'm needing. What's the red thing? Physical? Okay, so there's some kind of physical... Danger anomaly and two explosion anomalies. Lovely. Well, let's see what the hell's waiting for us over here. It's got max wind, so <laughs> I'll have power to spare. I need to start, like, considering the energy sources along the way of every travel. We've just been kind of winging it, and it's largely worked out. There's only been like two times where I was really getting screwed on energy. Acid, account acid encountered in the zone will both damage the car and drain its fuel. Oh shit, I had no idea about that one. Old wall crossing. Old wall wall crossing. Smokestacks. You're not the first to try crossing the old wall since the anomalies moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to keep in mind. First, to get through the old wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Start by connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. Yes. That's... Couple of things. Oh shit. We've got a new anomaly, and then there's a tourist just chilling out here too. Devil grinder. Fuck. Tour bus. Oh god, that's what a tour bus is? I thought it was gonna be like some ghostly vehicle. Not a sprouting of tourists in one clump. Oh, God. And then the beating heart is in the middle of all of that? Yikes. Well... Let's see what happens when I shoot a flare gun at that, huh? I've always been able to use regular flares as, like, tourist deterrents. Oh, ah, oh, 
fuck that I never got rid of the one that was in front of the car. Ah, fucking hell. Alright, that's on me. I didn't have my lights on. No! The worst fucking thing to happen. Wait a motherfucking second. Tourist trap? I gotta get out of here. Remember when I said, oh man, I was really expecting all the red stuff to be bad and hurtful. This is where it is. This is where it begins. Like, what the fuck is this? This is a resource? Beach ball? Oh, this is where we get the red balloons from. Okay. It's a little finicky to get it, but... It works. Explosive crate. Ticking tumble. And then outright explosives? What the fuck is going on? You probably shouldn't have this. You probably need specialist training. You probably need a license. You're probably in trouble. I mean, I definitely am. This place is... Not good. I need a bath. I need a new vacuum. I don't even know what, like, this goes to. Holy shit! There was a fucking anchor in one of those! What?! That wasn't even, like, marked on the map. This is insane. Yeah, I don't need to go in that building that badly. I'm sure the Devil Grinder is... as fearsome as its name would it suggest. I got still sheet out of there too. Lovely. We just red balloons give us so much. It looks like we've got a potentially active station here. So this is a charge stop. An actual charge stop. This one is purely energy, I assume. I'm gonna get beat up by the anomalies, I think. Wood decal. Fun. Uh. Aha! Take a better picture. If it's even possible. I don't actually know. I never look to see if the pictures I've been taking get changed. Okay. I don't know how to activate this. Last one, I just drove into the middle of it. Is it just being... Is it just being weird? It's probably just being weird. Or I have to turn it on through some other method. Where am I even going? 
Do I need to go into that place? There's a area we're supposed to flip a switch. Maybe up here. Hey. There are old shuttle stops at each crossing point. Use them to recharge your battery and hope they're still in working condition after all these years. Explosives equals chemicals. <laughs> I think I think that's a bad trade. Uh, are we good? Yeah, now we're charged up a little bit. <laughs> 